Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Jada and Gabby rejoined with Rafe, Days of Our Lives recap for Wednesday, September 11th, 2024. In Rafe's clinic room, Paulina requested, under her position as city chairman, that Rafe awaken. She heaved when Rafe blended and woke up. I can't completely accept that that worked, a wide looked at Paulina shouted. She started meandering aimlessly to Rafe however halted herself when she understood that he was unable to answer in view of the cylinder down his throat. She advised Rafe to remain alert and afterward race to get Kayla. Inside Connie's condo, Melinda battled against her limitations. In the meantime, outside the loft, Jada thumped on the entryway and reported herself to Connie. She noticed that the entryway was opened, and she opened it. Jada went inside yet found the loft apparently vacant. Once more, she got down on and afterward traveled through the condo, ultimately winding up at the shut entryway of the room where Melinda was being kept hostage. Before Jada could open the entryway, she got a call from Paulina, who enthusiastically educated Jada that Rafe had awakened. Jada left the condo in a rush. At the Gabby stylish office, Gabby gloated to Connie about how well her life had been going. Connie constrained a grin and created some distance from a distracted Gabby. With her back turned, Connie took out a blade and murmured, not for a really long time, whore. As she began following toward Gabby with the blade, despite her good faith, the telephone rang. Gabby replied, and when she hung up, she informed Connie that Connie expected to track down Melinda Trask right away. Connie misled a befuddled Gabby that Melinda had withdrawn from non-attendance. Gabby fretted over what she would do. In any case, Gabby's state of mind worked on significantly after Paulina called her with the report about Rafe's enlivening. She cheerfully transferred the news to Connie and hurried out, to Connie's shame. Afterward, Connie showed up back at the condo and tracked down a crying Melinda. She snarked that essentially she got a grin from Lee as she looked toward the smiling cardboard pattern. Connie eliminated Melinda's gag and said that she had been compelled to get back ahead of schedule after Rafe's startling arousing had sidelined her arrangement. Melinda was satisfied at the turn of events and figured Connie may be terrified. Connie laughed at the intimation and reminded Melinda that Rafe had not seen his aggressor. Melinda battled that Connie actually looked anxious. Connie conceded that she was irritated in light of the fact that that hussy is beyond happy, alluding to Gabby. Connie told an entertained Melinda about her bombed retribution conspire against Gabby. Connie's demeanor obscured, and she expressed that only one way stayed to make Gabby pay. Melinda's grin fell as Connie displayed the blade and stepped toward the bed. At the point when Kayla later went into Rafe's room, she analyzed Rafe and eliminated his cylinder. She asked him to relax after he moaned in torment. He figured out how to ask what had befallen him. Kayla refreshed Rafe on his condition and on the tests that had been run on him. Jada ran into the room and embraced Rafe, who was glad to see her. Afterward, Jada sat with Rafe and communicated her bliss at his revisitation of her. Gabby showed up presently and imparted a warm gathering to her sibling. Rafe actually needed to realize what had befallen him, so Jada and Gabby warily inquired as to whether he had been gone after at the burial ground. Rafe had a memory of being on the telephone with Paulina and afterward feeling an unexpected aggravation in his back. Be that as it may, he had not seen the essence of the individual who had gone after him. Rafe was paralyzed after Gabby and Jada uncovered that Bobby had been distinguished as the aggressor and that Bobby had evidently ended it all. At the point when he recommended that the story was finished, Jada looked suspicious. Afterward, Jada helped Rafe eat and demanded that she would be spoiling him until he recuperated. He needed refreshes on the police division, so she educated him regarding her arrangement as chief and about a high-profile quick-in-and-out case. Rafe out of nowhere had a memory of hearing a lady express something about an open grave, however, he didn't transfer the memory to Jada. Outside Rafe's room, Paulina and Kayla communicated help at the development. Kayla showed that Rafe's experimental outcomes had been empowering. She predicted no issues or enduring impacts from his trance-like state. 
In the recreation area, Chad moved toward Stephanie and apologized for being late for Everett's commemoration as he had taken the children for their most memorable day of school. Stephanie got it and made sense of that she and Jada had proactively dissipated Everett's remains. She felt it suitable since she and Jada had known Everett the best. Stephanie referenced her puzzlement at the reaction she had gotten from Everett's alleged companion Connie. Stephanie credited the misconception to Everett having lied once more or to Leo misunderstanding his realities. Chad communicated his lament that there'd been not many individuals at the dedication since he realized it had been a hard day for Stephanie. She recognized the trouble yet felt that Chad additionally had an unpleasant planning for the children's most memorable day of school without Abigail. Chad and Stephanie trusted the conditions would before long change for Thomas and Charlotte and that the children would genuinely have their mom back. Chad asked about Stephanie's gathering with Abigail and Stephanie answered that their experience had gone pleasantly. Stephanie had amused Abigail with tales about the cousin's adolescence takes advantage of, however Stephanie had found one piece of the discussion odd. Chad tuned in as Stephanie updated him on Abigail's case that she had been conversing with Kayla on the telephone. While Stephanie had at first accepted the story, it had later been disproved by Kayla herself. Chad credited the misunderstanding to Abigail's disarray. Stephanie reluctantly proposed the likelihood that Abigail might have been lying. Chad shuddered at the idea and safeguarded Abigail. Stephanie eased off and concurred with Chad's affirmation that Abigail had quite recently been confounded. Likewise, Stephanie didn't have a solution for who else Abigail might have been chatting with about an arrangement. Stephanie communicated hopefulness that with time, things would improve with Chad and Abigail. Steve, Stephen Nichols, cross-examined Abigail, Anna Lynn McCord. At the DeMera house, Abigail speaked with Stefano's representation. She communicated her culpability for having deceived Chad yet focused on that she was doing what she needed to do. She further made sense of that family meant the world to her and her sibling, similarly as it needed to Stefano. Steve showed up at the room's entry, frightening Abigail. She hopped from the couch, and he was sorry for upsetting her. After Steve explained who he was to Abigail, he asked her what she had implied about family and her sibling. She guaranteed she had been discussing the cozy relationship she'd been informed she had with her sibling. Steve hyped up JJ, and when Abigail conveyed her trouble with staying aware of the multitude of names, Steve referred to his companion Abe's new involvement in amnesia. He guaranteed Abigail that he would help her, similarly as he had finished with Abe. Steve then, at that point, raised Abigail's declaration that she had been chipping away at a treatment plan with Kayla. Steve trusted it to be really smart, assuming it was valid. Steve conveyed Kayla's affirmation that she had not spoken with Abigail the earlier day. Abigail attempted to pardon the error as specialist-slash-patient privacy, however Steve stayed unconvinced. She then endeavored to get Steve to sympathize with her sensations of disarray and dislodging. Steve conceded that he could relate in light of the fact that he had experienced something almost identical when he had trusted himself to be that person on the wall. Steve would have rather not delved into subtleties, particularly later Abigail communicated shock. With a sharp glance at Abigail, Steve surrendered that while he had embraced a new lease on life during that time, he had understood that he had never been Stefano. Abigail accepted the circumstance needed to have been unusual for Steve, and he added that it had been a ton more than odd for every other person. Abigail could see the reason why individuals felt quite wary about her, even Abigail's own mom. Steve recognized that Jennifer's response needed to have been challenging to hear, however he safeguarded it as a characteristic reaction to having been approached to accept the extraordinary. That's what Steve proposed Abigail reach out to Kayla about a treatment plan, then, at that point, he hoped everything would turn out great for her and left. After Steve's flight, Abigail checked out anxiously at Stefano's representation and proclaimed that Uncle Steve could be an issue.